So today I'm going to give a shot at using a Hariyama. Hariyama is a Pokemon that I think <laughs> is pretty good. I mean, it has some pretty decent stats. Its HP is pretty nice. Its attack is pretty high, but its speed is pretty much negative and its defenses are pretty much negative and it doesn't, I don't think, really have a good special attack stat. So it's kind of um, one of those weird Pokemon where it has some good things, but not so great in other spots. So. That usually means they'll do really well, or they'll just be nowhere near as good. Uh, so I decided to throw one on here. It's just using its natural uh, strength, and it's just uh, Choice Banded with uh, Bullet Punch, Close Combat, and a couple of other moves. To support it, I kind of just threw a couple of Pokemon on the team uh, that were uh, able to help out his weaknesses so for example i have the Ombreon to fight off you know psychic types or i uh, should have gotten something for fairy types but i actually didn't because <laughs> that actually gives me a double fairy type weakness to be honest i made this that this replay is from a couple of maybe like a month ago or something like that and i just finally remember that i had it uh and i'm just now recording it but in hindsight maybe not the greatest team but uh, I brought in the Heliolisk just to have a uh, quick special sweeper. Uh, I also have the Dawn Fan to spin out rocks and also take in bulky hits, or sorry, physical hits. While I have the uh, Umbreon for especially defensive hits. I have the Espeon for the same reason I have the Heliolisk. The only thing is that uh, Espeon has slightly different moves. And then finally I have the Cloyster just for a late game sweep. In general, pretty meh team. Uh, to be quite honest, but my opponent here is a pretty uh, balanced team, a somewhat gimmicky team. Uh, they got the Whiskash, which is, you know, in a similar position as Hariyama, to be honest. Uh, then there's Guja, who's an overall pretty good Pokemon. Torkoal, who's not half bad, but usually you see him now with Drought and like Sun teams, but I highly doubt uh, that's really what's going on here, considering, you know, the team structure. Uh, we also got the Venusaur. Venusaur's always been good. Venusaur's always good. Well, it's not great, but good. Uh, the Sylveon is a, kind of an odd Pokemon. And then there's the Ditto, who's the oddest of all Pokemons. But anyways, go ahead and start out with the Wish Cash. I go in for my Dawn Fan. I immediately switch out going to my Heliolisk here. Uh, get the Waterfall negated thanks to the Dry Screen. After that, I switch it to Espeon. He switches into his Gudra. Uh, I double switch and go into Umbreon here who eats the Dragon Balls pretty nicely and then after Leftovers is pretty okay. He switches after that going to Sivion Steel who I can't poison with Toxic unfortunately. So I decided to get the hell out of there going to my Hariyama who gets hit with a party shot unfortunately. So his attack and special attack are lowered and we got the Targo who does have the Drought. Uh, I just have to go with the knockoff anyway just to knock off this thing's Hero which I thought it was but it's not. So I switch to get out of there going to my Dawn Fan here who gets hit with a flamethrower gets hit really bad and after that he switches out goes into the Venusaur I go for the Rapids me just to get the rocks the hell out of there um, and then I eat a fucking sludge bomb I almost die and I throw my own rocks while I'm at it at the very least and then I go for the ice shirt I figured I'd do a little bit of damage before I go down uh, but after that I get destroyed by the uh, Giga Drain then I decided to go to Espio here to figure it'd be the easy kill and it is I go for the psychic finish off the Venusaur then my opponent brings out the Gudra. I decided to switch again, go to my Umbreon because he's the special defensive wall that I have, and eat another Dragon Pulse. Relatively okay. Uh, after the second one, I'm kind of low, and then I get hit with the miss for the Toxic, which is really gonna hurt me. So he switches into the Silvalli, seeing I'm gonna use Toxic again, which I obviously did, which sucks. But at least I'm back up to 60. Uh, he then goes for the Multi Attack, which doesn't really do a lot, but I uh, managed to survive. Go for the Wish. Get off the protect and block the poison, which is nice, and get off to all the way up to 92 after the wish and the leftovers, which is great. Then after that, I go into my Ariyama again, who once again gets hit with parting shot, and then back out goes the Torkoal with the drought, and I'm just like, God fucking damn it! So I just go for a close combat. Um, he goes for the rapid scene, gets rid of the rocks. I manage to go for another close combat and get rid of this Torkoal, and. After that, he goes into the Wish Cast, and I lowered my defenses so much, so I switch go to Umbreon. Unfortunately, he reads that, goes for the Dragon Dance, goes for another Dragon Dance. After that, I hit that thing with a Toxic, which is, you know, I'm thinking 
it's gonna <laughs> take him down eventually. He goes for a third Dragon Dance, and I'm like, well, shit. So I go for a wish at this point, thinking like, hey, at the very least, I'll be able to survive. Uh, he goes for the Earthquake, I'll for Protect like a jackass, because I just wasted my wish. But not like it matters, because he goes for the Hydro Vortex, the Z-Move, and takes me down completely. But at the very least, I managed to whittle down his HP thanks to the Toxic. I go to the Eskrim, who gets destroyed after an Earthquake, and then finally I go here to my Hariyama, Finish it off with a bullet punch. Uh, finally, he brings out the Ditto, who obviously has imposter and cop using me, so I'm like, well, shit, I'm locked into bullet punch. And then I switch into Hilius, who gets destroyed by the close combat. And I'm just like, well, fuck my ass. So I go into the Cloister for whatever reason, uh, and for whatever reason, he switches. <laughs> uh, and then I go ahead and I just go ahead and shell smash uh, twice, actually. I shell smash, shell smash twice. Get hit with the multi attack, still somehow survive. And then I go for the uh, Icicle Spear, which is resisted, and this thing survives it as well after two shell, sh shell smashes. What the fuck? So then after another multi-attack, I'm dead. Uh, I go back to Hariyama here. He switches, goes into his Gudra, and I'm like, well, shit. I went and locked myself into Bullet Punch because I thought that was the best move that I could do. Uh, but now he goes out, hits me with the Dragon Pulse, still a shit ton of damage. Way too much damage, leaves me off before I thought the next one I go for a bullet punch, finish that thing off. He goes out into the diddle, and there's really nothing I can do against this thing except lock myself into bullet punch, which I'm already locked into, and he finishes me off with a close combat. So, if anything, my opponent's diddle did a better Hariyama than I did. <sighs> Stay fresh.